Naomi Suzanne from Naomi's Home Health. So I was just making myself a licorice root tea and I was thinking about the question that I asked you yesterday in this group and it is, how long have you been unwell for? Why did I ask that question? Because I really, really know how long have you been unwell for because it's important. If you've been well for, unwell for years and years, have you asked yourself why? What is keeping you sick? When you end up with an autoimmune disease, you can generally pinpoint when you got it and why. I can tell you now, nine times out of ten, it's because there was a stressful event in your life or there's trauma that you haven't dealt with and it bubbles away under the surface and it all comes out. There's other physical reasons as well. But that traumatic event or the stress, ongoing stress, your adrenals are in fight or flight mode all the time and it just ends up boom, all the other stuff that you're doing, not doing right in your body comes out as an autoimmune disease. So this didn't happen. Like, let me know in the comments how long have you been sick because for me um, I was sick probably for two, maybe three years. And then for the rest of the time, I was healing. So I look at how long I was ignoring my body, how long I was ignoring my symptoms, how long I was trying to get help from outer sources and not take responsibility for my own health. So put in the comments if it, this resonates with you because this is what I'm here for, to ask these questions. So you ask yourself the questions you know, I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. I want to make you think because it was situations in my life that made me think. So, and this is why I created this group to help you. So what is it? Have you asked yourself what is keeping you sick? What? Why have you been sick for years and years and years? So for me, like I said, two, maybe three years, maybe that third year, it was kind of, I was I was waking up a little and then after that it was like bang I'm doing this and I'm not stopping until I'm better and you can ask anybody that knows me I was not stopping until I was like I am now and if I have a day where I go downhill I know how to get back up that hill without the continual down slide do you know how to do that have do you know your body so well that when you start to feel a bit rubbish, do you know why it is? I can tell you sometimes it might be food for me, it might be stress, um, and I know how to manage it. I give my body the right things. So this is why I want to ask you, how long have you been unwell and what are you doing about it? What are the things that you're doing? Because it's a really important question for you to ask yourself. You know, I can't, no, no one else can help you but you. And like I said, I, I, I look at every single question and comment and post that you guys do in this group and I can see where each and every one of you are at by the way you comment because I went through it all too. So if you have been unwell for a long time, you need to ask yourself why and then what am I going to do about it? Because if you're, so I, I have a friend been sick for 20 years with a certain condition not thyroid but similar to what we all go through always unwell um, and they're still doing the same thing they're still going to the exact same doctor and expecting different results not making any changes to nutrition not making any changes to mental or emotional health or dealing with stress literally using expecting medication to do the job and this gets stuck you have to actually and get yourself out of these things and start listening to your body you know you know what I've, I've got a migraine coming on why do I have that what it, what's going on in my body these are things that you should start learning about your body and listening to it because all these things that are happening in your body is your body going excuse me excuse me something's wrong here you need to fix it it doesn't get fixed with a pill a pill just stops it going excuse me excuse me a pill just quietens the symptom down 
And then once that pill wears off, the symptoms like, hey, I'm back. Excuse me, excuse me. So we want that symptom to bugger off for good. <laughs> and we want that symptom, you know, it may arise again, but we need to learn how to get rid of it. Why is that symptom coming? Not just like, shh, shh, stop. It's why did that symptom arise? What is the root cause? And how do I manage it? So I'm just wanting you to start to think about the questions you ask yourself. Because I get a lot of questions, but what are the questions you're asking? I'm happy to answer them because whatever you ask, you're learning. And as long as you're learning, I'm stoked. That is so good. Because if you're learning about yourself, you can go so far. So, you know, make one improvement in your life that will make a change down the track. So if you make one improvement, it might be, I'm going to drink lemon water in the morning. And if that's all you're doing for the next, fantastic. You've made a, an improvement and you've created a habit. That then becomes a habit. You won't even think about it in the morning. It's not like, oh, I'm going to have my lemon water. You'll get up, you'll squeeze some lemon into a, a glass and you'll start doing that. And then you go, you know what, I'm... I'm ready to do something else. I am going to cut out my deodorant. I need a non-toxic deodorant and I'm going to get a good one. Natural, non-toxic, whatever. That's two improvements you've made. It's, it doesn't all have to happen overnight. It doesn't have to happen, you know, and, and you may not see a lot of improvement, but you have made an improvement. You've taken away things that harm your health and you've added things that do good for your health. And that's only a good thing, right? So let me know if you need some support with this, but ask yourself the questions because if you don't ask, you don't know. And if you don't think about these things, then you just stay right where, it, where you're at. And I'm here to help you move away from where you're at, up that hill of healing. So drop a comment. Let me know if this resonates with you. Send me a message if you need some help. Um, that's what I'm here for. This is a group of healing. I want you to get better. Anything that you do will help you get better. Good luck. Mm -hmm.